Hey guys, Spider Games here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get the jetpack along with what perks and mutations you're going to want to use with the jetpack to enhance your experience. So, stick around. First things first, you're going to need to join the Enclave and become general in the Enclave in order to have access to the area we need to have access to. Um, so, go ahead and click on the card in the top right corner of your screen right now. That will take you to that video. We're going to go to the vendor that is located right next to the terminal where you got the schematics to build your EXO power armor. And what we need to do is a bunch of server hopping. So go ahead and check the vendor and then if he doesn't have your jetpack in under mods by the way, uh, you're going to go ahead and jump to another server by going to quit. And this is going to take a long time. Um, just so you know, I don't know if they put in a mechanic that prevents you from being able to server hop and then get the jetpack, but um, I did a lot of server hopping and then get the jetpack that way. However, when I stayed in the game for a very long time and the vendor just kind of refreshed its inventory, I went to the vendor and the jetpack was there. Uh, same thing with my friend. Uh, he too didn't server hop, he just went to the vendor after a long period of time after the vendor had refreshed his inventory and he had the jetpack for him as well. So I'm not sure if, yeah, there's something preventing you from actually getting the jetpack if you try server hopping. However, there's no proof that there is something. So that's my suggestion to you. It will take a long time. It's very, very rare. It's harder to get than these stupid, perfectly preserved pie thingies that you get from the goddamn Foodatron thingamabobbers. But anyways, once you are in the shop and you see that you have the jetpack, it will cost you about 460 caps with the hard bargain perk without it, it's about 560. But I suggest that you leave, uh, go ahead and quit once you have the jetpack so that you don't lose the jetpack due to disconnecting from the server. Installing the jetpack is very easy, you don't need any materials of course, all you need is a power armor station and yeah, you're good to go. Uh, once you have it installed, it's great for getting over obstacles like fences that you'd otherwise have to go around. Um, but with perks and mutations, the jetpack is a lot better. Um, the perks that you're going to want are Action Boy, Marathoner, and Squad Maneuvers. Action Boy makes your action points regenerate 45% faster with that perk maxed out. Marathoner, with that perk maxed out, you can run longer while consuming less action points. Squad Maneuvers, your movement speed is 20% faster, but you have to be a part of a team for that perk to work. Now, the mutations that you want are Bird Bones, Marsupial, and Speed Demon. Bird Bones makes your falling speed a lot less, so in other words, gravity has less effect on you, and uh, your maximum velocity is a lot lower than it should be. Marsupial lets you jump a lot higher. I fucking love this mutation. You can jump like 10 or 15 feet in the air. And then Speed Demon, uh, it increases your movement speed 20% along with your reload speed. I'm going to show you two ways to get mutations in this game. First being the all-natural way, like I am right here, and as you can see I had bird bone, that's why I floated to the ground so slowly. Uh, the second way is by buying it at the Enclave Bunker, but it's very expensive. If you don't want to pay a bunch of caps for mutations, we can get them naturally by going just north of Watoga to a place called Pylon V13. Now, you can see here I have a bunch of mutations stacked as is, however, there is a bug that I need to tell you about. Um, I'm also going to be doing this method in the background, so it's very simple, just watch what I'm doing and do it yourself. But anyways, um, the bug that I ran into while I was getting my mutations was um, I got the marsupial effect, and I already had bird bones and speed demon, so I was very happy I checked out my active effects and marsupial wasn't there, and I was getting a bunch of other mutations also, and I still couldn't find it under the active effects. Now, what I read on the internet was that after getting carnivore or herbivore, um, this can happen. You will see on screen that you've got a mutation. However, when you look under your active effects, it's not there, but you do have it. Um, when you cure yourself, and if this bug is happening to you, you will see the mutations that you wanted pop up as you're curing yourself. It will say, Marsupial has been cured, blah, blah, blah. I saw this when I was curing my mutations at the arcs that you find at the Enclave Bunker. This is way better than using Rataway, since it's just a waste. And when you're stacking mutations, what you need to do, once you get a mutation, you need to leave that server. You need to quit the game and go to the main menu. And then you can return to a game just by pressing play 
and you can get another mutation. You just keep doing that over and over until you've got all the mutations. Just watch out for that bug, and if you do get it, go to the Enclave Bunker and dance in the Golden Showers of the Arcs. Which brings us to our second method for getting mutations in this game, and that is just by buying them at the Enclave Bunker. And I'm going to show you right here how we actually get to the section that uh, sells the mutations. But, yeah, this method doesn't work well for me. Every time I've tried to uh, stack mutations by buying them, um, instead the second mutation that I try to apply becomes an, an hour-lasting serum that makes my mutations less shitty. The, the bad effects aren't as bad. Uh, so somebody told me that all you gotta do is leave the server, just like when we're farming mutations naturally, we leave the server after applying the first mutation, get to the other server, buy another mutation, and then we can uh, drink it and it should stack. But uh, we're gonna get caps by just farming them, by using this guy's uh, awesome cap farming method and it's really legit check out his video by clicking on the card in the top right corner of your screen right now but uh yeah guys that's basically it um i still haven't gotten all the mutations combined so i'm gonna be covering this in another video where i'm just gonna concentrate on mutations alone um i want to show you guys the awesome mutations that you can have while using the jetpack and it really enhances it another thing about the jetpacks i suspect that you can get jetpacks by either um, finding mods next to the power armor and I made plenty of videos about this but you can find lots of mods next to most power armors out there in the world and I suspect that jetpacks will spawn next to the power armor that you are looking for it's always random like you'll get a t51 power armor mod or a t45 power armor mod whatever I think this is how you do it and you can also find mods at the train stations uh, at the vendors there but yeah <laughs> but yeah guys that's it i mostly just want to show you the jetpack location but uh yeah i couldn't show you that without showing you guys what cool mutations you can combine with this now like i said i haven't gotten all the mutations that i want to get yet uh that is bird bones marsupial and of course speed demon once those are combined, I think the jetpack is going to be really awesome. You will see that in my next video. While we wait for the new patch to come out and for bosses to drop the loot that they're supposed to drop, by the way, that has everything to do with the Ultrasight Armor video I'm going to be showing you in the future. I'm going to go ahead and make the Mutations video next. While we wait for that, I'll tell you all about the mutations and I'll show you the results of getting all these mutations with the jetpack. And it's going to be so fun. Marsupial alone is fun as shit. Um, I love it. But anyways, guys, I hope you found this video informative. I hope it helps. Leave a like if you did. It really helps me. And subscribe for future videos. Like I said, I'm going to be covering mutations as well as showing you the Ultraside armor and how to get mods for that. So... Thanks guys for watching, and as always, I will see you in the next video.